Hey everyone, you guys see the title, you guys see the thumbnail. Yes, this is technically a rumor. It's unverified information from a supposed insider, but I want to just set this up correctly. I absolutely 100% don't think this is real. However, I have a reason for talking about it. The first reason is that somebody that we do rely on and has proven correct in the past, Paul Gale Network said there would be some sort of direct presentation this month. That's what he's heard from his sources. Paul Gale does have a long track record of when he does say something from his sources, he tends to be right. I don't know who his sources are. He is a friend of the channel, so you can argue there's some bias there, but I honestly don't know who his sources are. And he's not the source of this particular rumor, but he's the reason that rumors like this just kind of sit in my mind and I have a hard time completely ignoring it. The other reason is obviously, as you saw with the title and the thumbnail and knowing my history with this franchise, you guys know I love Zelda. And of course we're talking about a Zelda focused, AKA Tears of the Kingdom direct next week. Uh, and I'm not gonna name the person who this insider is cause I don't wanna give them their 15 seconds of fame and clout and create this giant following, but I'll at least tell you what they said and we'll just fact check it next week. Again, rumors are unsubstantiated. You should always have a high level of doubt, but I'm even telling you to. This is what they said, though. I'm hearing it will be a Zelda-focused direct announcement early morning next week, Monday. It will then be live-streamed on YouTube on the following Wednesday. It's going to be around 45 to 50 minutes long. So this is obviously... Uh, really cool. I would love a Tears of the Kingdom Direct next week. There are some red flags uh, outside of my stuff I'm going to bring up in a moment about this, uh, such as, hey, Fire Emblem Engage releases next week, Friday. Why would they do a Zelda Direct right before that? If they're going to do a Zelda Direct, wouldn't it be the following week? I don't know. Look, they've done Directs the same week as major launches before that weren't about that game. So I think if there was any sort of event next week, a Game Focus Direct, it would be for Fire Emblem Engage. But what do I know? I don't work for Nintendo. That's just what this person is claiming. Now, I want to dive a bit deeper into why I don't think this person is legit, because it's just us. Again, we're going to keep this all transparent. Uh, they later said about this direct uh, at uh, about 630 this morning. They said currently the direct is planned for next week, but Nintendo being Nintendo, don't be surprised if it gets moved last second because they found out that info got out I will update you if that happens. Now, I have talked to other insiders who have a proven track record of direct leaks. And outside of them not having heard anything next week, the biggest thing is that Nintendo has never actually delayed a direct because info got out. They have delayed directs over natural disasters, real world events, stuff like that. They've never delayed a direct because someone leaked it. It's never happened and there are way bigger leaks than this for directs in the past. Exact release dates, full game lineups, etc. Actual information that's within the direct, not just that a direct is happening. And Nintendo has never moved a direct. They, their, their marketing campaign deals with millions and millions and millions of consumers. They're not worried about what some, a few thousand people say on the internet. So, yeah, that's also, to me, a red flag. And I pointed that out, that this uh, Nintendo doesn't do that, and here's the track record. And they blocked me. So, again, you can argue that's another red flag. Now, moving beyond that, they also said something like, I would expect two Nintendo Directs next month, one being a normal general Direct, the other being another Mario Movie Direct with a new trailer, mostly showing Luigi. Again, probably false. Uh, this person also said some other things. By the way, I do think there'll be a general Direct next month, and there probably will be something for the Mario Movie, but I, I have no idea. Mario Movie stuff might not happen until March because the movie comes out in April, right? Uh, but they said a lot of other really, really weird things. Just going back in, in, in this message train, uh, I'm not going to go through everything. Maybe we'll have a laugh going through this next week on a live stream or something. Um, but this is, this, this is, this is really interesting. They said things like GoldenEye would come out in April. Well, now we have a counter rumor to that saying that GoldenEye is going to release at the end of this month. Now, the rumor for the end of this month comes from somebody who does have a track record, and there's somebody who has a track record with Xbox leaks. So, hey, take that for what you will. It being an Xbox leak doesn't mean the Switch version's coming out, although you would assume they release at the same time. But who knows? Because, hey, the Switch version has an exclusive feature, so maybe it doesn't matter if it releases at the same time. Beats me. They're both rumors. They're both unsubstantiated, and both could be made up. But what I also didn't like is that this person went on to attack fellow content creators. First off, went after dear friend of the channel, Mike Odyssey, who I obviously defended 
And then they went after Switch Force. And look, I don't care if you like Switch Force or not. I don't care if you think every video they make is clickbait. Bottom line is, Switch Force is not someone who I would call a liar, right? You can not like the titles, you can not like the thumbnails, but the information presented in the videos, I don't think any of us can look at most of that and call it anything other than him just talking about video games just like I do. He'll talk about actual news, and yes, he'll talk about rumors, and he's very good at clarifying what's a rumor, what's a fact, what's not. Look, you can hate the titles and thumbnails, but the actual content's mostly fine, and I don't think there's a reason to really go after Zach the way this person did. This person also tried to defend new Marco Maro, which I thought was really weird. Marco Maro is a proven fake insider. They also went after someone who has a 100% track record in Silex Hunter, claiming that Switch Force is Silex Hunter, which I thought was really strange. Um, Silex Hunter, by the way, so far hasn't gotten anything wrong and also barely leaks anything in the first place. We got the release date of Bayonetta three weeks ahead of time. We got information on Persona 3, 4, and 5 being in the September Direct. All this stuff proved to be correct. Look, there's red flags all over with this. But again, I really want it to happen, so I'm kind of holding on to this tinge of hope that, you know what, maybe this is just a jaded individual who knows someone at Nintendo of America and wants to get a bit of clout. I'm not going to give them the attention until it's time to probably laugh at the whole situation. Probably already is time to laugh at the whole situation, but we'll wait. We'll smidge of benefit of it out. We'll see if this stuff pans out next week. Probably won't. Uh, either way, we have Fire Emblem Engage to look forward to and probably a general direct in February. So hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts. I'm sure I'm going to have a lot of negative comments. That comes pretty typical whether I really believe the source or not. Um, again, rumors, always be skeptical, massively so. Catch you guys in the next video.